it should be shorter and quicker than baseball. The uh, one-handed drill here, I like to use this drill because I believe the bottom hand takes you directly to the path of the ball. It's very important to actually take you to the path of the ball. So that's why I take the top hand off. I like to work on the knob around the back. But you've got to possess a bit of strength to be able to do that. If it's too much trouble for you, choke up a little bit so you can gain more control of the bad hand of the ball. Or if you're doing this drill with kids, you know, have them choke up. And even stick their left elbow to their side and give them some stability. But the important thing here is to try to take the bad head to the ball and stay on top of it, okay? If it's too heavy and you're not strong enough, you'll see this. And that's not what we need to see. When you keep your shoulder down, you want to be able to go like that. So the bottom hand, it's important to take you directly in the back of the ball. And uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do 5, 5, and 5, 3, 3, and 3, 10, 10, and 10. When we get older and stronger, we'll do 3, 3, and 3. Do 3, 2-handed first. So we're going to go ahead and swing 2-handed first just to get the feel of it. Once again, no ground balls to the left side of the infield. Line drives back to move. Again. Yes. All right, now we'll go to one hand. And remember, watch what Cal does with the barrel of the bat. It's not going this way, it's going here. One hand. That was nice. Hunter. Back to two. Now, the first swing, like I bet a dollar to that young man. The first swing, typically after the one hand drill, because they're going to be shorter and quicker.